star and Olympian Ray Allen of the Bucks is a student of the game. He looks back at one of the NBA's all-time greats, Oscar Robertson, in Retro NBA. In his 14-year NBA career, Oscar Robertson, or the Big O as he was known, redefined the guard position. The Hall of Famer was a league MVP who won an NBA championship with the Milwaukee Bucks. One of Robertson's many admirers is a modern-day superstar in Milwaukee, the Bucks all-star guard, Ray Allen. Oscar was one of those guys where when you watch him play, there was not one thing that he couldn't do where, you know, you have a scout report and you always say, well, this guy does this. Well, pretty much his scout report was he can play. He was in triple threat form all the time on the court. Oscar Robertson now, top scorer in the ball game with 18 points. He has nine points, three rebounds, three assists. He's stolen the ball twice. He's perfect at the free throw line. I, I haven't had a triple double yet in my career. For him to average a triple double was so astonishing because it requires a tremendous amount of focus on, on his behalf to, to think the game all the way through correctly. And to have your teammates in on at the same time is, is also amazing. The guys that he played with, you know, they were at in those spots all the time, and not to mention his height, which allowed him to get, you know, double digit rebounds all the time. So for him to be able to dribble the ball, pass it, and be physical and go to rebounds was, was astonishing. Guarding Oscar is a tough assignment. Once he has room, look out. The result, two more points. I think he was so fundamental with his jump shot. He couldn't do anything but run clinics off of how he shot it. And it was like, my coaches saw and said, this is how you have to see jump shot when I was in elementary school. It was like elbow in, you know, parallel to your body, and then it's, it's, it's just straight through. Silky smooth Ray Allen. You can see this young man has a nice shot, good quick release, no hesitation. <laughs> I think when you when people look at this jersey, people look at this when they say that was a jersey right there. That was that was when they got it done. You know, you look at you know 1970, 71. This is you know this is when Milwaukee was the city. Every year they were bringing in bringing in some wins, and you know this guy right here, he he got it done. And there's what we can look to see all afternoon. Oscar Robertson clearing the side, feeding to Lou Alston. Robertson, the quarterback of this Milwaukee team this year. He tries one from 16. It's over! It's over! The Milwaukee Bucks are champions of the world! I hope I could have had the impact that Oscar did on this team because people always talk about how, you know, Milwaukee hasn't won since the 70s when Oscar and Kareem and McLaughlin were all, were all the team. And every time I stretch, you know, my that's, you know, where my, my vision is headed, and I see that all the time. Looking for the three. Here's Allen firing to the tie. With five and one ten seconds to go. This would be one of the greatest victories in franchise history here since the championship run. I think it was the 30th anniversary of the Bucks, and Oscar was there. And we just we just mingled on the side. I think it was more him trying to get inside my head and, and see as a young NBA player what my goals were. It was kind of like a breath, breath of fresh air because it's, it's like your older brother coming in and saying, well, you guys, you guys will be all right. If you put your basketball career in focus, you realize that you, know, you have to take advantage of it and enjoy it for the time being. And a lot of people say I'm a throwback player because I'm, you know, I just go out there and play the game and then go home and do whatever. It's great to know that people, when they hold Oscar in high regards, to put me in that same category. That's it.